Introducing to you first, the man coming out of the Twin J Transportation Blue Corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He has a fight record of one win with four losses. He stands five foot, six inches tall, and weighed in at 156 pounds. Coming to you from Auburn, Nebraska, make some noise for Dana Groves. And now for his opponent coming out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter representing Premier Combat Center. He has a fight record of two wins, opposite of one loss. He stands five foot, 11 inches tall, weighed in at 155 pounds. From right here in Omaha, Nebraska, make some noise for Curtis Fry. Out. That's a good start for Dana. Do you just get caught on that takedown there? I mean, there is something to be said about rushing in. You know, you don't set up at a certain point. Maybe you can catch him off guard. I like that Dana's getting his underhook on the on the right on the far side to keep that pinned. Curtis needs to wiggle that left arm in. So this is something that I, I'm actually up. super curious. He needs to about. watch for the guillotine himself. He can get guillotine here himself. But the thing is, is Dana's not really locking his hands up too much. Oh, he's on it. He just didn't lock his hands. So is he accomplishing anything with that guillotine there without having that hand underneath? Not unless you're totally uh, if you really lace your arm through, basically your fist is on the other side of his throat. Um, you can maybe pull it off and you can get a neck crank with it. But for the most part, you have to have that. Now he's, got that see it. he's got that wrestling cradle in there. Yep, wrestling cradle. Just looking, make sure he doesn't get too deep that he gets rolled over here. He's got to sprawl far out. If I'm Dana, I'm looking to come over, maybe uh, hit like a Kelly. See if Dana crawls up. He's got to get more square with him, though. Use it to pull up. He's been here before. Or he could duck his head under, try to pop in. If he could come up and under. He's got to keep his head hidden is the one thing. Well, I was going to ask, is there where he's holding on to that leg so both of his arms are interlaced? What keeps uh, Frey from dropping an elbow on his side there? Oh. There's a finish there. Henry, did you see what happened? What made him finally give up there? Uh, I think it was just accumulation of damage being in a rough spot. We've seen a lot of those guys today get in that rough spot on the ground there and just not really be able to do much with it, huh? Or get out of there. Dan Grubbs is back to his feet. It's always good to see when somebody's down for that long. Good getting to back see to their he's making communication, yeah. At the end of the day, man, small injuries happen. Every once in a while, you get a small broken bone, hands especially. Um, you just you want to stay away from things like, think about Brady Manor breaking his arm. Yeah. Broke his arm. You Make some noise for both these warriors, please. And now for your winner, at two minutes and eight seconds of the very first round, due to tap, due to strikes, Make some noise for Curtis Fry. 